this is probably the worst brass knuckle that you're ever gonna find. And yes, you didn't hear me wrong and I didn't say it wrong. It is a brass knuckle, a singular knuckle. And here's it's why it's so much worse than you actually think. Run the intro. What's up guys, this is Old Ninja wearing Aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, let's just, I'm gonna take the glasses off for a moment because it's time to get real. This is a single finger brass knuckle. It's made so that you can slide one of your fingers in, have the support on your palm and punch people in the face. Now, does it do that? Yes, yes it does. It technically does do that. However, is that a good idea? No, absolutely not. But to understand why, we need to understand what brass knuckles are actually made for and how they actually work. This right here is an example of knuckle dusters, like normal knuckle dusters. For holes, you put your hand in, the uh, bottom of it goes against your palm so that your fingers don't take the brunt of the force, just like I talked in a previous video or uh, one of the past weapon logs I did. However, at least I think, I'm not sure how I'm releasing these, but you get it. Uh, but the point of brass knuckles is to spread that entire force of your punch across a very thin area to do damage. And usually that's what they rely on, right? That's what makes them incredibly deadly. In fact, they're banned in many, many places for two reasons, one of which being the fact that they're associated with the mafia, and the second being that people would accidentally kill each other, like off each other by brass knuckles because they didn't realize the effect putting all your force into just a metal bar does on the human skull. If you weren't sure, it crushes it. It's, it's not a pretty picture. And so that's why we have brass knuckles. However, you would think at first thought, okay, so I'm taking it and putting it into an even smaller point. That's gotta be, what, what's wrong with that modern ninja? What's wrong with that DJ, come on. Well, you would be right except for the fact that the way this is built, one, it's too big for most people's hands. Like, it's, it's far too big. And two, you need to have perfect aim. Because if you don't hit perfectly square on, if you're off at all, because the bar doesn't cover all of your fingers, if you're off at all, it means your wrist can twist, your, your fingers can break, when they in, like inevitably impact their target. And if you're hitting a hard target, like you would with brass knuckles, say the skull, and you just it with your fingers into their skull, their skull's gonna win. That's just how it works. And I promise, breaking your fingers sucks. This is also going to have a very rigid edge on the palm pressure, or on the palm uh, plate right here at the bottom. What does that mean? It means that every time you punch, that edge is gonna dig more and more and more into your skin. And I am not a fan of weapons that it hurts to use. Like that's not a good thing. Now, I'm not saying you can't use it at all. There's definitely a world where you can, you know, train with it and specifically use it, you know, to jab and just go straight in and just kind of as an enhancement to your punch. It will work as that, right? It could do that, and you could have that straight motion for your punches that will do damage. However, hear me out here, you could just have normal brass knuckles that you can still do the same thing with, as well as everything else that brass knuckles do. This literally just limits you in what you're able to do with brass knuckles, and for me, I hate that, I hate being limited. Don't, don't tell me how I can or can't give people brain damage like Batman. Let me live my life. And to my FBI man watching, I'm joking. It's, it's literally just a joke. But yeah, this is horrible. In my opinion, I, I don't know why I have so much hate for this, but I, I do, I don't like it. And so if you're gonna ask me for a rating, as far as self-defense goes, I'm gonna give it a two and a half and if you're untrained like if you if you're literally untrained i'm going to give it a 0.5 because this 
this is gonna hurt you. This is, this, ugh, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. Let me know if you agree with me or if you think I'm completely losing it and it's like a 10. I'm sure one of you out there think it is, but please, please explain why you do if you do. I'm just being honest with you here. This is my opinion at what, 2 a.m. on a random Tuesday. So let me know what you think. <laughs> And while I have you, if you would be so kind as to join these awesome people right here and support the channel by becoming a channel member, it would really help me out as to making more awesome content for you guys and it'll get your name at the end of the video just like these guys and it'll let you see many of my videos early before they go public. So if any of that sounds cool for you guys, consider becoming a member. But either way, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to